let's take a look at how you can test your uh, Ruby libraries, rather, in, um, if they have support for TLS 1.2, which the API is, QBO, QBO API is going to require TLS 1.2 connections uh, starting in just a few days now. This is uh, December 22nd and December 31st is when uh, it's going to uh, start rather and uh, this is I'm checking right now for QuickBooks Ruby so I already just have some I'm in Rails console and I am uh, already have uh, initialized a QuickBooks Ruby session okay and that's going to be represented by QBR QR uh, dot base okay then I'm going to go into service which is a uh, method in uh, QuickBooks Ruby and I already got it out here so I'm just gonna do this to keep it as fast as I can where is this now okay <laughs> there we go oh that's not the one I want to not do raw I just want to do HTTP get okay so this is um in QuickBooks Ruby so you would get a QuickBooks Ruby object right here. I'm calling it QR base because I'm getting it a little different way. This is QuickBooks Ruby here. And uh, private method in the service of QuickBooks Ruby, the service uh, module is um, do HTTP get. And I'm gonna override that URL with SSL labs test for view client. All right, so you would do the same thing in your console and um, see if your implementation of QuickBooks Ruby does support 1.2. So let's go ahead and send it. I'm gonna scroll up. So they don't have, there's no real great thing that I saw for API support, like where it just returns something nice or in JSON. It's just, it's just an HTML page that SSL Labs does. But if you kind of scroll up a little bit, you're gonna see the, uh, uh, you know, you have to read all this stuff. Um, and I, I think I just want to go down here. I think it's more down here. Um, okay, so I'm going to scroll up a little bit more. Let's see where that table is. I just saw it. Okay, here we go, up here. <laughs> so if you wanna just uh, like dump this, I'm using Tmux here to scroll up. You may not have that or you're using something else. But anyway, you dump dump out the, the output and look at it in your text editor. But you're gonna see here in the table that 1.2 is yes. So th this connection um, we're using with QuickBooks Ruby does have TLS 1.2. Now. What I think, Matt, now, so QuickBooks Ruby uses uh, NetHttp, the library, to do the the HTTP requests. I think if you're, now, this project, I'm using Ruby 2.2. I, I think that's where it falls on, since that's a standard library. NetHttp is a standard library of Ruby. I think if you have, like, Ruby 2, it, it, like, it, in other words, it depends on the Ruby support, What what's compiled in with open SSL probably I'm kind of guessing a little bit but let's just say you're using 1.9 or a lower version of Ruby you, you might want to run this test it, it, it doesn't mean just because QuickBook QuickBooks huh Ruby has just inherently has uh, makes connections over TLS 1.2 it, it depends on what your underlying Ruby is that's my guess okay so you should still perform this test and um, from there, let's go on to, uh, actually, I'm gonna end this screencast here, and then I'll probably have two screencasts, one for QBO API and then one for QuickBooks Ruby. So thanks for watching and go do your test.